Thursday, June 15, London again becomes the target for a blitz from the air. Nine days after D-Day, the Nazis start their flying bomb attack. Night and day, the attacks continue. On some days, as many as 200 flying bombs are launched, causing many casualties and much property damage. Special demolition squads of the Royal Canadian Engineers join other civil and military groups in the rescue work. A vital task is theirs which must be performed at top speed. Under the ruins are trapped civilians whose lives may be saved if the debris is cleared in time. Mobile canteens, many of them Canadian, do yeoman duty in refreshing weary rescue crews. An hour seldom goes by without the sirens wailing the alert and the roar of bombs signaling another job to be done. London is again on the front lines, but she demonstrates that these senseless attacks can have no effect on the outcome of the war. New methods of defense are tried and adopted. ACAC guns and balloons are moved to better positions. The defense system becomes so effective that in the 80-day bombardment, only 2,300 bombs of the 8,000 launched ever reach London. of about 2,000 feet and a speed of around 350 miles per hour. Special Air Force interceptor squadrons maintain ceaseless patrol and master the knack of exploding them in the air. command are out in great force. They continue to seek out and blast the highly camouflaged launching bases in France. The launching bases can be found. The launching bases can be blasted from the ground. As the blitz against the buzz bomb moves into its final phase, Allied troops drive into the Pas de Calais area. One by one, the launching sites are overrun. As Canadian and Allied troops drive the Germans from each one, the bombardment of London diminishes in proportion. All that is left of the launching bases is just a mass of wreckage. Less than 60% of the bombs left the French coast. Many of them fell around the site, making the launching a hazardous business. In a wrecked concrete blockhouse is found a chart of routes to target areas, to the capital which took the force of the attack. The firing handle will launch no more explosive death against innocent civilians. The buzz bomb is finished. There may still be another secret weapon, but Allied brains can beat it, and London can take it. <laughs> <laughs>